we're gonna check out Klein Butte OHV area. Am I gonna regret this? Maybe. Ooh, it's tactical. And I'm here by myself. I might as well do a bunch of shit I'm not sure if I can handle. Okay, one hill climb. Okay. Oh, come on, dude. You had that. Hello everyone, welcome back to the dork side. I am the dork in the road, and it is August. I'm going trail riding. My neighbor's sprinklers are going off in the rain. It's funny to me. That's right everyone, I am the dork in the road and I want to be your internet riding buddy, so please consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on those notifications. I'm loading up to drive a couple hours over the mountain to Redmond, Oregon, where uh, according to the weather report, it's not look like this. It's supposed to be 72, partly cloudy, and we're gonna check out Klein Butte OHV area, which is a high desert, sandy, sort of rocky uh, environment. So it's gonna be quite the contrast to this. So thank you for coming along. It's gonna be a day of yin and yang as I load up in the rain, drive over the mountain to the sun, theoretically. Thanks for coming along. <laughs> Later. Man, what a difference to it. It's probably a you can't hear me. We are at Klein Butte's OHV, uh, about two hours from home, and it is 72 degrees. There's a light breeze, it's partly cloudy, perfect riding conditions. Really glad I decided to drive over the mountain today. I'm gonna have lunch and then unload and then go ride for a while. It's gonna be awesome. I'll have to look around. Some people don't think it's high desert. I totally do. So dusty, high desert -y conditions as you can see, so it should be fun. I'm looking forward to checking this spot out. Thanks for coming along. We'll see how we like it. Six is just a straight shot up and over. All right, let's try out this little blue section. Let's just see what it looks like. Am I gonna regret this? Maybe. Ooh, it's tactical. How do you feel about rocks, everybody? Technicalness, technicality, technicalness, technicosity. Yeah, that's the section. So probably a lot of that on the. 
blue trails, is my guess, is what makes them blue. This stuff is where a, a lighter bike would be a lot more fun. Alright, on the power lines. Oh, I love it when you shift into neutral when you go off a jump. That'll happen. This rocky stuff, if it bothers you, you can take it pretty slow and dodge most of it, but honestly the easiest way is just to ride over it. Stand up if you have to. Let the suspension and the tires do their job. Oh, that was a big one. That one fun. Oh, target fixated twice. That was stupid. What I was saying. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty fun. And there's some technical shit out here. Looks like this one just pops off and loops back around. Should we check it or it's blue? I'm super curious. Let's go look. And I'm here by myself. I might as well do a bunch of shit I'm not sure if I can handle. That's the smartest course of action. Single track trails are more fun anyway. We'll just take it easy. This is a blue. Man, people ride these hard, you can tell. These little mini berms. They hit this stuff so fast and just slide around. I'm not there yet. Not there yet. Every once in a while I feel a little twinge of what that must be like to be able to do, but definitely don't have the skills at the moment to do it. Oh yeah, this is why it's blue. It's technical stuff. A little technical. It's two step downs, that's fun. There's a weird rock in the middle of the trail. There's times when I'm like really glad I have ground clearance. That's one of them. Downhill, we're gonna take this right. That's what we decided, yeah. Now we're trying to loop back to the other one. These are all like this though, I can see hitting up a few more of them. Elevation change isn't crazy out here. I say that and I'm gonna hit a big hill, but that's always my biggest concern is big hill climbs and stuff. Flat, technical, doable. Got some whoops there. There's a branch. I was in the wrong gear for that technical section. I'm trying to practice doing technical stuff standing up. I am in first, actually. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Okay. I've picked better lines, but we survived. There's like a little part of me that's starting to like the technical stuff, and that scares me. It's probably actually a really good sign, but... Oh uh, yeah, some technical. You guys are looking for rocks to hop over. This is the place to come. Cool trees. I got a picture under that. Cool tree. So this tree is rad. That if that's not the thumbnail, then it means I will have taken a really badass picture later on. Nine miles so far. Ooh, black diamond on the on the left. We're not gonna go that way. But the nice thing about up here is. I guess you can always bail out and go cross country. You're really, really not supposed to. But as a last resort kind of thing, especially up here, it's fragile. Like that ant hill I just ran over, super fragile. It's a switchbacks in here. It's interesting. Back on 27. All right. We press on. That was a fun little loop. Okay, I'm feeling better about some blues. Feeling better about getting on the motorcycle trails and off of this road stuff. There's a bird. It's a wildlife covered, handled. There's some whoops for you. Holy shit, dude. These are serious. Whoopi Goldbergs. Canyon shenanigans. And the Anigans. Let's see a sign 32. 32 loops around. Looks like it goes down to that cool canyon area. That might be the canyon I've been looking for, actually. Yeah, let's take that loop around. Okay, let's take 32 around. There's a really cool canyon run trail up here somewhere. 
that looks a lot like it might be it right there so i mean i don't know for sure but there's a canyon and we're headed towards it so it's at least possible is all i'm saying oh it's cool out here this is neat cool kind of sagebrush prairie the clouds look really good this to me looks like picture time i just feel like i'm looking up at the cloud shot right here it could be pretty badass Yeah, there's a canyon. Is that the exit? Is that a trail? Is that where that black diamond comes out? It totally is. Huh. Okay, so 11 goes out and around through all this. This is 32, which looks like it goes up through this canyon. Let's go look. This is why it's nice to come with someone who's been here before, but we'll figure it out. Oh, that big rock. I just looked right at it and hit it. This is significant. This is the play area. Damn, I didn't know this was here. Right here is good. There's Black Butte. Dang, okay. Three sisters. This is quite a view. Quite a spot. Fun little cinder play area. So that, that means I was right over there and I didn't realize this was here. Cool, dude. Let's go down there and look. I can, looks like I can get back up pretty easy. And this will help us cut across that spot I'm trying to get to anyway. Worst case scenario. Check out the rim of this play area. Huh. Yep, yep, yep. Interesting little hill climb here. Obviously, it's a descent from this angle, but you get the idea. It doesn't look awful until the top. I don't know how sandy it is down in there. Oh, it is sandy. Yeah, it's slowing you down bad. Huh. Fun. Okay, one hill climb. Okay. Oh, I took the shittiest line possible straight up the sheerest part of that. Fun. Let's see if we can find our long trail. This is not, this is not, not a hill climb right here. It's the one we just came down. off the carbon fiber I heard it fun times back up the hill just to go down it yeah some interesting drops right there it's the kind of stuff I'm trying to practice doing standing up these sort of steep slightly technical downhills it's actually it feels a lot more stable when you stand up even leaning forward some, which used to freak me out, so I'm glad I'm figuring that out to a degree. Yeah, it's kind of weird, like, getting dark feeling right now. It's just cloudy. So we're going to head out to this really long loop blue trail. Let's see how that goes. Oh, That was a big jump for me, and the landing was not awesome. <laughs> Ooh, wasn't ready for that. Didn't get my butt back far enough. That was probably as much as I've compressed the forks on this yet. I don't know what you're doing out here, pal. I feel like this 11 trail could be cool because it goes out through this prairie sort of savanna plateau whatever the hell you want to call it so let's go check it and it's blue so it could be interesting and i'm pretty sure it's motorcycle only yep blue motorcycle only this is it yeah so here's some technical 
You're gonna get tired of me saying technical. This is rocky. Lots of rocks. Lots of rocks. Now, if there's a big rock on the trail, I'm really good at looking at it and hitting it. It's one of my one of my best skills. One of the things I'm best at. Yeah, this is technical. You guys can probably see that. You don't need me to say it every time. I have to stand up and do our slow speed clutch control action through a lot of this, I think. It's gonna be like this a lot. Rocks. Somebody's taking a fresh line for me to follow. Isn't that nice? It's recent. The dust is drier than anything around it. It's been overturned by a tire. Cash. I can miss cow, but I hit every damn rock in the trail. Kind of interesting to me. Breaking my own rules way the hell out here in the middle of nowhere on Blue Trail by myself. But you guys are with me, so whatever. I have faith in my machine. Whoa. The rider is the problem. Doing dumb like that. Good times. 28 miles an hour out here. I'm definitely getting faster. <sighs> Alright, let it move. Don't fight it. Do not trust the sandy corners. You need to learn to do that. Relax, smooth, let it shift. What up, bird? Right in front of me. It's a decent little jump. So far, this trail's fun. It'll be a fun one to get to know and ride over and over. Pick up speed on, know it's coming. Ooh. Popped it out of gear. Didn't put my foot down though, so that's pretty good. Yeah, you guys want to check out some rocks and stuff? Good place for it. Oh, one of those sandy uphills I was saying I didn't want to have to deal with. Cool job, cool, good job, me. Look at this rut that I don't want to get in. Holy sh! this is technical and rutted. Um, the hell? Dude, you had that. You had it. All you had to do was trust it. Yeah, you had that. You're dumb. Stop psyching yourself out. Just point the bike, point the bike where you want to go and go there. Stupid. At least I'm better at recovering from my mistakes these days. More technical. <laughs> now I'm just like, is there a technical counter running? How many times did I say it? Ooh, this is good rockiness. Look at this. hill-wise because that one sucked. Now I'm still enjoying the rocks, they're just exhausting, man. I'm not conditioned for this. I don't do it often enough. Wow, decent view. Clouds are clearing up. We might be able to see uh, some mountains today after all. 11 or 12. 12 connects back to that. Actually, this leads to some blue single track, which I'm pretty curious about. So let's take 11. I want to see it. Oh, there's a cool section. Unexpected. things in perspective quite like getting work emails on your phone while you're out here and ignoring them obviously I'm not gonna answer right now
This is that single track, blue single track. Let's go look at it. I'm making bad decisions today, guys. Look at that single track, though. Is that my canyon? Oh, it looks like it might be. Down into the canyon. Okay, it's a little bit like the trench run, Star Wars. Super cool. Now the question is, can I actually ride out of here?